Hey friends, I hope you are doing well. I'm just taking a little rest. Um, we also have a little bit of sunshine here, which is really nice. And uh, I'm just cycling here at the moment. Because the weather is so nice, I thought to myself, let's go outside and cycle a little bit. And uh, I just went to the nearest farm nearby me. And uh, as you can see, I just bought some bottles of raw milk because I was craving it. The farm is not that far away, it's about 15 kilometers from my home and I just went with my rocket over there. Right now I'm heading home and I'm taking a little break and spontaneously I thought before I go back home this is a great chance and a great opportunity to make a short video. just wanted to, to make a short video about raw milk and now I want to talk about milk and especially I want to talk about raw milk in this video. And, uh, and also why I think uh, it might be good for you to consider drinking raw milk. And yeah, maybe I can give you a little insight um, about that topic. Maybe I can here talk a little bit about my past and uh, my first experiences uh, drinking raw milk. Actually, last year was the first time I was drinking raw milk. Also soon after that, I was constantly drinking raw milk. And um, also at the end of last year and also in the beginning of this year, um, I was uh, living in Iceland and I was working there on a dairy farm. So because I was working on a dairy farm, I had access to raw milk every day and uh, I could drink as much as possible. And uh, yeah, this was really great for me. I was staying in Iceland for around four months and uh, during my stay there, I was drinking raw milk every day. And I was drinking at least half a liter every day and sometimes even more than that. I was not only drinking it because I like the taste of it, uh, also because I think it's really healthy. I really think that for most of the people out there, raw milk is much healthier than pasteurized milk or heated milk or, you know, some, some milk that is processed. I always think that raw milk is the better option. And I always had the feeling that the milk that I was drinking there, the raw milk, um, it was giving me a lot of energy and I was feeling really good um, after drinking it and I was drinking a lot of it. And just in general with every other food, you know, if you eat something and you feel bad afterwards, you probably know it's not good for you. And if you feel good, then you probably know it's good for you. And um, I always had the feeling that uh, the milk I was drinking was helping me or was beneficial for me and uh, was not destroying me somehow or something. And uh, yeah, you probably know what I mean. And another interesting point um, that I want to mention in this video is that usually when I was drinking milk, you know, when I was drinking milk before, the, the pasteurized milk and the milk you could find in a supermarket, uh, I was always getting, you know, bad skin. And, um, and when I was drinking a lot of it, uh, I was also getting, you know, some, some digestive problems. Not really that bad because I'm also not lactose intolerant. But uh, I could see that if I would drink too much, I would not feel so good afterwards. But with raw milk, that was absolutely not the case. And I was drinking it every day and I was drinking a lot of it. And I never had any skin problems or I n n never had any digestive problems or something like this. Um, instead, I was getting all the benefits, you know. And I also think that milk itself... It's really rich in nutrients and it's a great food for a lot of people out there. Of course, you will find people out there who say that milk is bad and uh, you will also find some studies who show that milk is bad for you and unhealthy. But what you have to consider is that, first of all, there are some people who always have to say something. <laughs> and secondly is that you have to consider that most of the cases and also most of the studies and most of the people are talking about the milk you know the milk that the milk which is pasteurized which is hi highly pasteurized uh, on a high temperature so these people are not taking the raw milk in perspective but rather they're putting the pasteurized milk and also you know the, the cheap supermarket milk most of the time um, they're putting this in perspective and they say it's bad for you and and of course it's bad for you when you have milk you know from unhealthy cows which are also not fed properly but I personally think that Raw milk has a lot of benefits for a lot of people out there and um, and I also think that you know pasteurized milk doesn't have as many nutrients as raw milk 
And also another thing that you have to consider is that pasteurized milk and um, highly heated uh, milk doesn't have the enzymes that the raw milk still still has. And uh, this can cause, you know, the digestive problems for some people and uh, some allergies or some bad re reactions in the body. But with raw milk having still the enzymes and also more nutrients, I think it's, you know, it, there's not something bad about it. Of course, some people, there are some people who, who will react badly to it. And I also say that raw milk is much better and has more nutrients and stuff like this. Because uh, recently I was reading a book um, that was saying, and um, this is basically also true, that every food that you take, um, and when you f heat this food over 70 degrees, it will lose some nutrients of it. And uh, this is with every food. And what also happens is that when you heat the food over 70 degrees, um, the protein get denaturalized, and these kind of proteins um, cannot be absorbed uh, as good um, as you know proteins which are not denaturalized and the proteins which are not heated and the, the proper proteins <laughs> you can call and that's also a reason uh, why I recently started to eat a lot of uh, a lot of food raw and in its proper form and I even eat uh, eggs raw sometimes I just make sure that the food I uh, I eat uh, that I don't overheat it um, and I don't heat it too much on a high temperature uh, because I think you know uh, like this it's much better because you, you will keep more nutrients uh, in the food itself and I just think that you know raw food itself is not really bad I also think that the reason why people you know flipped the steak for example um, is to kill off the bacteria you know which is on top of the meat because when you when you take the piece of meat the inner part is not really affected because you know you can you cannot really touch the the inner part of the meat it's just you know the outer part of the meat which is here and uh, on the outside which you can touch and which can be affected by by bacteria and i don't want to make this video too long so yes i'm just heading home again and yeah see you soon and drink your milk your raw milk <laughs>